What are you prepared to give? What terumah are you prepared to give? Terumah, the name of this week's Torah reading, means gifts, but not just any gifts. Terumah, more specifically, means gifts for sacred, holy use. Terumah comes from the root for to elevate. And these gifts should elevate us, and our holy usage of them should elevate the items that are so gifted. As we were a wandering people, we did not have a permanent place of prayer. We were mobile, and thus we were to build a portable holy place, a place to connect more with God, and a place to house the Aron Kodesh, the Holy Ark, the Tablets of the Commandments, etc. This week, we are given the instructions on how to build it. We are here, readying to build this sacred space, a physical space to represent the presence of God. Yes, we do know or should know that God is everywhere. And it was not that God needed us to build him a home of sorts, but be it a Mishkan or Mikdash, which by the way could be a sermon for another time, but it would benefit us and our relationship with God to have such a special place to more optimally feel God's presence with us, to help us enter the presence of God. It is, though, not the place or space that is of such importance. Such a place is just a vehicle to help us connect with God. A building in and of itself is never a holy place. God's presence is not found in our buildings. God's presence is found in our hearts and in our souls. The building is just a place to help us connect so with God. It is, though, not a place that is holy, but it is God that is holy. Mount Sinai, for instance, may have seemed to us at this time to be a holy place, but it was not the mountain that was holy. God is what was, is, and will be holy. Sinai is an important part of our history, but it is, at this point, just that. When we left Sinai, it is not that we left God. God accompanied us and accompanies us on our journey always. The sacred space that we are readying to build at this point of our reading of our story is a symbol of that. Wherever we are, God is always with us. But our prayer space, Mikdash, our sanctuary, Mishkan, our tabernacle, such a place, such a space can serve to help us better feel the presence of God with us. Our presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, -E -E can help facilitate to more tangibly bring God's presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E -E. This week's particular Torah reading lists the materials for making the tabernacle, the sanctuary, everything to be donated by the people. And it is desired that everyone contribute what they can. As in this reading, God so instructs Moses. Me'et kol ish, from every person. Asher yidvenu libo, whose heart so moves him. Tikhu et terumati, you shall accept such holy gifts. Moses thus so asks the people to bring gifts for this building project. This is to be built for the benefit of everyone in the community, and thus it is desired for its construction to be made possible due to gifts from everyone. In a way, it is also about helping us move away from overvaluing and worshiping the things we may have, and instead focus on worshiping God, not things. As Talmud profoundly communicates, he that gives should not remember. He that receives should never forget. 
This Torah reading provides in detail the materials to use and how to construct this special place for us to come together to find and better connect with God. The materials and how they will come together to create the tabernacle, sanctuary, ark, etc. is all planned. It is not random. It is carefully planned. It is carefully planned with reason, whether we understand it or not. There was, as there should be, truly a vision to all of this. Included in this plan is the design for our first actual Jewish symbol, the menorah, not a Hanukkiah, but our actual original Jewish symbol of the menorah of seven branches. Seven branches representing the seven days of creation. It is also poignantly stated that Bahaya HaMishkan Echad, the tabernacle becomes one whole. While the tabernacle is composed of many parts, as we as a people are composed of many parts, the many parts of the tabernacle are to be as one, as we, even with our many parts, are one people. Am Echad. And what a gift, our oneness and the oneness of God can be. The gifts to Rumah we can give are nothing in comparison to the gifts we have received. Quite a powerful lesson we can learn from Midrash. We may have thought that we were carrying the ark in God's presence with us, on our journey, but it was actually the ark and God's presence that was carrying us. It is not that we, the people, sustain Judaism. It is that Judaism sustains us. And such is the power of our terumah, the gifts we give for the sacred, holy purposes of building our special place, our special space, to help us and others connect more with God. As to this special Turuma, wait for next week for more. And I will leave you with all of this to ponder as I wish you Shabbat Shah.